Are you suspicious that someone is using your Wi-Fi without your permission? In this video, you will see who's connected to your Wi-Fi network. Use your Wi-Fi router interface. The first and basic way to check who's connected to your Wi-Fi router is by using the Wi-Fi router interface. Almost every router displays the connected devices list. You need to type the address of your router in the browser to access its interface. Then use the router's credentials to log in. Usually, the router's address and login credentials are written on the router. If it is not there, you can search online for your router's model number and you will find the default credential for it. Once you are logged in, you will find the connected device list option. Here you can see all the connected devices list. Now if you find any unknown device connected to your Wi-Fi router, you can block them using MAC filtering. You can find the MAC address of the suspicious device from the connected device list. Then go to the MAC filtering and use that MAC address to block it. If you have only limited devices that get connected to your router, you can set the MAC filtering to only allow whitelisted devices. This way only allowed MAC addresses will be connected. Take the help of antivirus software. Some antivirus software also has Wi-Fi monitoring tools such as Asset Internet Security. Many popular and advanced antivirus software comes with Wi-Fi security tools. You can use them to see who is connected to your Wi-Fi. Use Wireless Network Watcher. If your router's interface doesn't display the connected device list or you don't have access to it and your antivirus doesn't have a Wi-Fi monitoring feature, you can use software that is called Wireless Network Watcher. You can search for it on the internet and you will land on this website. Scroll down and click on this full install link. Now run the installer and install the software. After installing, it will scan your Wi-Fi network automatically, though here is the Start Scan button, which you can use. After the scan gets completed, you will see the connected devices list. First thing, you will see the IP address. Next here is the device name, then MAC address, device information, first detection, and last detected on etc. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.